have said I'm preaching with a title Word Encounter Sitting at the Feet of Jesus. Or if you like, you can just title it Sit at the Feet of Jesus. Listen to me as I bring God's word to you. I will assemble a kind of woman. Uche mo pa uti mo se. If ye na Jesus Christ uburu mo no, na omo ye ni siya for the da. They they know him like they have accepted him. And so you have Martha, you have Mary. In fact, so what kind of Bible now? Ubengi anti asiye se. Oyo mo niya ni efen in Lazarus. Ah, owu ya Jesus Christ u ibe nyane neno. Ah, omo suma se enko fre Jesus. Embra, I'm catching. I'm catching. I'm catching. Jesus Christ was there. What down for now? Pen as a pan. In fact, I can't Bible no more. Bible is clear. Bible says Jesus Christ was open. Martha as a pan. Open Mary as a pan. Sounds super. It wasn't only last one that he loved. Go and read the scripture. Read the other version. You will see. The Bible. So this is a family of disciples. If you look at Bible no more, you can't see. Jesus Christ. Na kwenye tu wakubeni na mbibi wakono udu saa brother na friend beteni udu wa we efia ya friend na ya mwenye vyaniti efia ya friend ubem mwa mwenye sofon mwenye kwa sinyo wamo enye kwa yeah it's a good thing to bless your ministers bless your pastors bless prophet it's a good thing but that's not my message for today the person who answers says, "We are Israel for Hashem, and then we can Israel for Hashem." It is only Israel for Hashem that we can follow. But we did it, and we did too. So we are Jesus Christ for Israel for Hashem, and we be with Hashem, and we be with Hashem. Let's see, the man who is sitting there, the two men, and we are Jesus Christ to die. Amen. Can we glorify the word of God before I preach? Hallelujah. I know I've taken some amount of time to minister to you already, so the preaching will be brief. I know um, Elder Sam will begin to laugh. I won't mind him. I said that's for Becachi or Sandy preaching the eight year one. I won't go for you and tell. And then I never surprised him. He said, Last bit. Eighty. Jesus Christ will do one man a matter. I say, I eja we do hard. We do in terms of bra. Now, now you tie a man. You hang a man. And a matter then you are married. So no ofie. Jesus Christ will come back when you are out in a sin. When a married, a journey here and a bit in a Jesus Christ will not see. Matter there, show girl, show usher, show protocol. Today I will be descending on the ushers and the protocol. I'm descending on all of us, including myself. Because you can't Adena, udi weni etu ni mama bibreso, na ba kupe ni hia. Can I get three people here quickly? Run, run, because of my time. There are three people here. Munti asemli ye, three. I said three. I didn't say two. Okay. Enti, come to me. Here, weni ya weni zama ma ni mama bibre. I said Martha, Martha. Adentina. Hey, brother, Hey, we want me 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 
Okay, you go. Me ye the fact you be. I say muti be asem. I want one person here. Me pe one more, one last person. I know I want this one. Uh, what's your name, Kala? Let me come here. It was a matter, matter. I didn't know. Who pro who I yet name be praise, ah? Name on Bacope. Any who here? Tia, me do what me do on your basem. Yes, Christina on Shedda and Cassa. It ran in a matter, eh, no, and you. But see, around this time, no. Because so dear when you know who said, you man know dear children in the other back of the home here. Brother Kassan, we are friend of principle of prioritization. It was so shema and a back of it, you know, say, Mary, a fast a back. That's a back of the ASA. Who tien a miasem? Who kind a miasem? Who sien a miasem? A sumo in the scheme of order. In the kingdom arrangement, as soon as you say, when you pray, you are usher. I said, you are usher. You are preacher. And far more, you teach you what come one hour more. Because you are usher. Kaya. And do not miss him. You are kind of miss him. Ladies and gentlemen, all I'm trying to say is that the response of Jesus Christ to matter reacquires in our ears. The essence of prioritization for every child of God. Indeed, prioritization is not only meant for every child of God, but it's meant for every human being if you want to succeed in this life. Because there are many things that you will be attending to, but you must remember that they must be responded to in accordance to the, to the order of relative importance. Scale of preference. They are all important, but at that time, there has to be one that is more important than the other. So in choosing what you have to do, make sure that you go for what is most important. So in the beginning, when God was creating the world, which included you and I, he began on the note of the principles of prioritization. Day one, he created something. Somebody say, first thing first. Please don't bring second thing first. Don't bring third thing first. Don't bring fourth thing first. So in this scheme of events, so far as kingdom issues are concerned, Martha was cooking food for Christ. It doesn't mean that that protocol work or that ushery work is not important. But at that time, it was time for the word of God to be preached and the word of God carry premium over service. The word of God carries premium over what you watch on television. The word of God carries premium over anything around your life. It's like if you have not, Jesus Christ, what he was saying is that if you have not sat at my feet, you have no business going to cook for me. That's all. If you have not read the word of God, you have no business coming to dance to praise me. If you have not studied the word of God, you have no business bringing your tithe and your offering. If you have not, are you, are you understanding something? If you have not studied the Bible and allowed the Bible to work a quick work in your life, you have no business coming to dance here. You have no business going to usher. You have no business going to do protocol work. You have no business joining the prayer warrior ministry if you have not read the Bible. If you have not studied the Bible. That's all Jesus Christ was trying to say. One thing is needful. It doesn't mean that the rest is not needful. After all, I've read no man on Odi. We are no strong why they no here. But or catch the matter, say, Madam, so on betra me na si enti masema. If you na unia no aye kwa, if you if you hear me, if you do a comedy me meji dinu bad. I wo osua hime mu kwain so niema imbra ya si cheno masem ni di kain. Enti ba yira huso kusia swa ida mami 
And there's a reason why he said this. And I would like to introduce you that reason. How many want to know that reason? Yeah. Ah, number of times. Someone is going. One time someone was going on. I walked out. I saw an usher outside of, of a selfie. Was the word of God was going on here? I broke down in my spirit. I said, What kind of people am I raising up in this house? One thing is needful selfie can be done after church service. You are an usher, you have the opportunity to stand outside, and therefore, when the word of God is going on, you go back there, you take your phone. Chap, chap. Say, When you go heavy, you Instrumentalist, bang 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 Clement, may you be the one who reads the word and studies the word because God is waiting for you. Jojo, may you be the one who reads the word and studies the word because God has been waiting for you. Clap for Clement as he goes. Clap for them. <laughs> may you be the one who reads the word and studies the word. So God will be pleased with your life. You have no choice. The way you can beautify your feet. May you read the word and beautify your life with the word of God. In Jesus name. Amen. Oh clap for my daughter. I'm looking forward to your wedding. On the topic, Traninasi Traninasi Rigsa, a chase Utahoa Usia Nasem Usia Nasamia Unicus obeyed the Anapa. So for Penny Bia, Damia Fernoco, Reverend Dr. Steve Asante, may he so rest in peace. He's one of the Baptist ministers who has influenced my life till today. He wrote a small booklet called No Bible. No breakfast. No Bible. No breakfast. Yeah. Now let me show you why the word of God carries premium over any other kingdom matter, kingdom issue. It doesn't mean that the rest are not needed. You have to do them. But if you have not really sat at the feet of Jesus, don't proceed to go and do something to make Jesus Christ happy. Because the first thing that makes him happy is when you have listened to his word. When you have sat down at his feet, you have an encounter with his word. Because he needs that encounter in your life with his word for a purpose. And that is the primary objective of Christianity. primary objective in everybody's life after becoming born again. I want to show you this. But we are number one because I was so to be see first. And Sana, I could be cooking. I could know you're sorry. I know Kunu Kuku. Where's your order of the American Otima City? 
Koko no hia. Ba o china o sina wose o twetwe no. E no hia number 1. I say ye di wa ko school se ko sua de. E wo so hu se ade sua na ye de e di kan entry e do buy. If you like, leave it and go and do God's work alone. Don't learn, don't do anything and go parading on campus preaching the gospel of Christ alone. And as I'm going to sit there, that the Holy Ghost will come and teach you psychotherapy and teach you physics and teach you mathematics. And this is what we have been doing as young boys and young girls. When those of us who have been through it try to explain it to you, you don't get it. You think we are telling you that uh, drop God's work. No. Me, who did God's work more than me? I say this to the glory of God. In my own mind, on campus, when I was a student, we had a meeting. Me, yeah, yeah. And so we say, because when we say, yeah, the member school, we say, me, me, see, I even told some of you what my father told me. I said, me, do go school. Me, me, say, oh, fair, we had ten, ten grebos, and a man up there, but who could remember about me and Kodjejo? First things first, we see, and the pass. As a school, no, me, we ain't a me, sack of can. So is it first thing first. But the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all in righteousness and all these things. Shall I say first thing first? I beg you. I'm not preaching on the principles of prioritization, but I need to address every young man here. I need to address every young woman here. I was here no first and cinema wrestling. We are about Usuban yet, Usuban boy, a bong sebi. And so tell me up as I'll dress it. Now it be a be a frail. Yeah. What the first thing, forget about the dressing. Because it's a subino. I need a number one. Who's the same we are? Now for board dressing. Now born of Ushi Abraham Yako, yes, and the Okanswa. Name Ram Hawan and Nusun. Now let me get back to the word of God. So the word of God carries premium over all the other essential things in your life. Especially now I'm addressing the issue of discipleship. As a disciple we are required we are required to pray. We are required uh, to offer services in the house of God. I don't actually see why you should be a member of this ministry. Because this year, and ask him, and sign up, walk away, sign the money. This is the reason, then I will end my sermon. Everybody say, sit at his feet. You need to understand that in those days, the phrase sitting at the feet of a master talks about discipleship. No matter how you look at it. And within the framework of discipleship, when you are seated at somebody's feet, what it means is that you want to become like the person. And so you want to listen to everything that the person has to tell you. So that you'll be doing those things in order to become like your master. So in Acts 22 verse 3, when the apostle Paul was flaunting his credentials, he said, I am, the one, I am one of those who sat at the feet of who? Gabriel. Yeah. Because if Gabriel, Acts 22 3, is it there? Is that Acts 22? Yeah. I am verily a man, a Jew born in Tarsus in Cilicia, yet brought up in this city at the feet of he didn't say at the mouth of. He didn't say at the hands of. 
because in those days they used the phrase sitting at the feet listen to me in those days they tell you that no more guest sat at the feet of pastor abraham it means that even if you have never seen pastor abraham before look at mama augusta look at her behavior, her attitude, her everything. It is exactly Pastor Abraham because she has sat at the feet of Pastor Abraham, listened to Pastor Abraham with the view and with the aim of doing everything to become like Pastor Abraham. Yeah, so in the, in the, in the Jewish world, they all knew it. It was actually a practice. So those days, when you want to be somebody's disciple, you actually sat at the person's feet like when I come and I want to learn from him, I have to sit here like this. And then prof will start talking to me. That's it. That is the whole thing. And as he's talking, I'm looking at him. I want to become like prof. And prof is teaching me. And I'm listening. And I'm listening. And I'm listening. As soon as I get back, I'm going to do it. I return again the next day. That's discipleship. The primary objective of God after getting you born again is for you to become a disciple. The primary objective of God after getting you born again is never for you. To continue to be a disciple of the devil because he took you out of the darkness he brought you into his marvelous light and so for you to conform to the things of the light he needs to help you to change your character he needs to help you to change your attitude he needs to help you to change and become like him and so jesus said to martha he said you know what mary has chosen the best in terms of the scheme of prioritization She's going in for the 100% what is essential before the rest will come. And nobody will be able to take it away from her. I have news for you. If you make the study and the reading of the Bible your primary issue in life, make sure no television, no boyfriend, no girlfriend, no food, no issue, no event takes away that first place that you gave to the word of God. Christoni <laughs> The type of Yesu no okono. Until wa brabo bedu hono. Uya ha nyankopo. Until wa brabo bedu hono. Yesu Christo moja no be shigu wa ewa sase no sonu. Uya ha ya uya ma moja na ya ya kwa. The only way I will be to me usubay be se Yesu Christo usubay no. Eh se obe tina. Eh se obe de. Topic na me pishin. Me se your friend say. This room, 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 Tongues and the 
Can somebody testify that? She said, and can can cry a young pastor. In Kobe, or be cry, I was saying to be heard on you who Christo are. In Sabia was a young moon so far. Nedre Chaya, may I suffer, Mamma Kibi? I'm upon my chairman called Miss Vibia. And let's suffer, Suban, you can 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 the direct opposite of Yesu Christo. What is happening to the church? But there's a revival coming. I see men and women of God going back to sit at the feet of Jesus. I see members of the church going back to sit at the feet of Jesus. It shall be a daily affair and our life shall change. The Bible says in the book of Corinthians that we are changed from glory to glory as we have an interaction with the word of God which is a mirror. You've got to encounter the word. It's difficult to encounter the word and go back the same. But I've pastored people in this church for 15 years. I can tell you some of them. I'm a super a check. Can feel good and chip it and buy me a shiny. No way. But you ain't trusting you, super born in the side. You know, you know, man, that's a better level. Now, me pass every time here. Me, my new way, me, Jai, Nassim, no can damn a catcher, who fuck up a catcher. Woe is me if I don't preach the truth of God's word. Woe is me. Or in the morning, or the afternoon, and our friend is a me, see, see, when he nasce him, why in me? Now, my church, I nasce him. Why in me? Miss Ru. Let me bring, let me try and bring this message to now, I would like to prove and give you evidence from the scriptures that the primary objective of God for your life and my life after salvation is discipleship. Another word for the outcome of a good system of discipleship is what we call spiritual maturity. Everybody say spiritual maturity. Let me tell you, until, everybody say, say, until, you, say, until you and I get to the place of spiritual maturity, God is not happy. His counsel is not fulfilled. I'm telling you this, and I'm going to end. I will break it down. I don't know what I'm saying. 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 Effa na sema okin kai every day. How do you juma every day? I want a hun sun san so ah e de eba na enu na nyami e chain se e be deidi enu na man nyami ni e jik pa se uji ni daba isu kisu uji ni di e au be ye Christo ni se sadi ni pia ni ni je nu e nye complete first e ni je but okay, second energy. Second energy, no air near your friend. Rufus, I'm saying spiritual maturity. Check with you. Who whom you need? Tell him I'm five. Who will you add you? 
Obianka hum munyini. Ebio hum munyini. No gambi eta wakele gamite. Mumomi dale alumini. Okay, mumomi here no ya. Yeah, I'm bringing the message to a close. Are, are you being blessed this morning? I have thrown a challenge in this new month. Last week I sent you a message. I said this new month, from now, beginning from tomorrow until the sixth of June, I said no preaching will go on in this house. I'll give you the details when I finish preaching, but I've said it. Watch it from next week Sunday. I give you 30 days of word encounter challenge. The next 30 days beginning from today, we are reading the book of Luke and the book of Ephesians. Put together, they give us 30 chapters. You are supposed, you are required to read one chapter a day. The next Sunday when we meet here, I'm not preaching. First 30 minutes, I'm calling people at random. Okay, and then I catch them. Somebody say word encounter. Now, nah? It has never happened this ministry, but it's going to happen. So I'll call Chairman. I say, Chairman, Ephesians chapter 2. Oh, Chairman, get ready. I'll call you. My man can't tell. So we won't do your argument. Say, oh, Master, yeah. Member, member, few have a few. Hey, my you ready? Oh, but how I got to know her house. I never knew her house. But when the Lord said to me, This is your wife, I said, Lord, this will be one of the tests. If it goes through, next I said, No, I said, No, I I said, Lord, if your spirit will take me to second D, then I know that this is the woman you have for my life. I left Accra. And I began to pray in tongues. But I said, God is my witness. The Spirit of God took me to her house. And I stood at the door. Bad, bad boys and girls. Because I said, How did you arrive here? I said, Now I know you are my wife. I will marry you. It worked for her. I want you to know that I have I have an experience in locating houses. Me me a spiritual GPS. As I ever catch up, we say, Wow, I have a dream, say, Oh, my son, because of a second kind Bible. Now I frown, say, We'll be preaching. Maybe if you maybe if you maybe if you pa. Oh, listen to me. God has made me a spiritual GPS before. Abra. Abra, house number one, near Ninja said the next house is house number two. Why are evangelism? You want here list. Or if you follow up, I'm mixed houses here. And my, me and my team we were struggling. Then I told them, follow me. They all followed me. And I started the to show. Abara Taka. In Bega Google. Mbara. Then I asked them, what is, what is the next house number? Maybe they will say number five. I said, follow me. In the Kusaha. Abaya. Okami. Femweko. Rektoshe. Mahataya. Then I will feel like stopping at a particular house. Then I stop. I asked them, check what house number? They say five. I say, yeah. Nipano Hayako. 
Sunday, 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 Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. Enti adi anya mi afa mi so ayet pa de. Obesa ye biom. I mean, Mr. Obeba, sorry. Listen to me for the next four Sundays and the next four Thursdays. I need everybody in this church because let me tell you how it will happen. On Thursdays, ye ba first thirty minutes, ye anya we. Remember five different scriptures and no speaking in tongues for 30 minutes. I'll give you one scripture and then you, I will teach you how to use it to pray into your life. After six minutes, remember the next scripture, no tongues. Who's your Bible? No, the Bible now bump by your will be a Thursday for 30 minutes. Here we are. I said I'm a vampire man, Now, why one boss am I You know why? The time has come for us to have an encounter with the word, so that we will move into spiritual maturity. Let me give you proof now, and then I end the message. I have an assignment at West Hills Branch. The family be West Hills. See me do one sana. Kahane kamu tomo ya bala 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 ya bala. Yanko John chapter twelve. Everybody say spiritual maturity. Kalo boshunda leka daka demusa bahada bahaya bahaya. Usi chibu ya kanze. Masa. Me kamu rofuni na makachi na chia sumu rofuni ya spiritual maturity. Chini ya day. Spiritual maturity. Hare ya muntai Jesus ye. Spiritual maturity. Hey, oh my apa mo how? Spiritual maturity. Me say spiritual maturity. Any who mu ni no. Any any aku pon butaya or tense. You be do sa pen person. Ne di nije abreno. On tense ye be do hano mo no. Yami usuda. Because Emra out there in Nancy is here in Nancy, and do eba spiritual maturity. Yami eche, and do eba umu nini yamu eche. This is the secret. Nia obora umu ini mono. Ono na we do a pepeswa. Osmafo Paul umu ya okai say. Ephesians chapter four verse eleven to thirteen say. For then, when I cast it is to display power in the church. No, 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 no. I beg to differ. Check the Bible. Take me there. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 to 13. Meaning, yes, so for the same too much, the same again. I said, watching, uh, you're wrong. Yes, we are supposed to demonstrate the power of God. Listen to me, I, I also don't believe in any in a ministry that can demonstrate the power of God. And then what are we about? Everything is about power now. <laughs> but first things, uh, and he gave some apostles, some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors, and some teachers. Yanko, the person Michel Adukuntia, Namiamau, or pastor. Adikuntia nyamama obi so yen komshe ni aba kuti hei. Adikuntia nyamama obi a oyɛ evangelist. Adikuntia muntie sɛ mo for breakthroughs. Sɛ e beji breakthroughs na ya bra bo ensa sada. I beg to differ. We are wrong. What is breakthrough without spiritual maturity? Watch the watch the yanko yanko. We can say sofu yanko yanko yanko. Still a hand move weak. So we can say yanko yanko. For the what? That's all. For the perfecting of the saints. The word the perfect is talking about the Christ-like nature. The reason why you were born again is to become like Christ. So you are supposed to be perfected from time to time. The only thing that will perfect you is not a miracle. 
The only thing that will perfect you is the word encounter. It's with the word of God. The miracle said, though they are jala, they are just supposed to come, follow us. It's for the perfecting of the saints. Then watch it. After you are perfected, what are you supposed to do? It means that God has something for every one of us to do. But until we are spiritually mature, he can use us for that. Mami can you achieve? Nia ya kani chere yense. Ose nyame. Emma asafubia osofu. Ose ni tiki wa omaye osofu. Eye se. In sofu ni me diabu ya na. Ye nyi. Ewa hum hum. Na ya ye tise. Christo. Ose se. Ye tu me ye tise Christo pe. Ye ma hu kwa yense. Onu nyame be fa yense. No ni ya ye jume bi wa asasi so. Mami, sana nyami chen wu. Opeso ni uye juma. Enye sofu pe, ena nyami ni uye juma. Enye profeti pe, ena nyami ni uye juma wu. Ankwe kwe mbiya. Wafa Yesu Christo se ni kraje nkwa no. Nyami pese wu ni uye juma. Bo ni mse wu kwa 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 mistake. Enti wasi fanasem. E e bobra e mri biya. Na se nebe ya. Opeso sao. Na wabe du ti se onu Christo. Na udu sa levo na. Na fi odi juma na ide. Odi a shew sa. Munti edi o kanye. Move me to the verse 30. In fact, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Take me back. Take me back. For the edifying of the body of Christ. Just say, until you know, the word edification means built up. Say, Christ was suffering. Be jina. Na I, na, ya hu aye ding, ewa hu ma, e jina, ankwan kren bi asu, say, no ma wang, why ya perfecte? Say, no ma tu, juma nyami pesa uye no, oh yeah. That is what edifies the church. Watch it, and let's go again. Oh, one, two, three, let's go. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. And what? And unto what? And unto what? Now end it. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Until you get to that stage where you have the fullness, the stature of Christ. Where they can say, say, who say Christo? Who need yet to say Christo? No, we are not there yet. It can only come by the word. I didn't think you knew me as a so. Yempe, o fasa o kaimpe, o be huwa o se o kaimpe na o daba. God never would him say no, 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 no. I said, "Para me catch you, no." O to be for YouTube. No streaming on that that. Ushia, ushia, ushia. Yeah. On that that. Na fe na wa kai se o se o kaimba bo kakra. O de o pass switch na he. O nyan kai first three lives. It's a battle. Because the devil knows that the day you become like Christ, his work is over. Can I give you one more proof in scriptures? I am whetting your appetite so that you go back to your Bible. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 to 17. Maybe I'm going to end with this. Yeah. Mommy, you know, Paul kept telling Timothy, preach, be instant in season and out of season. Then, so that meant that he was telling him to preach, but he also told him how to preach. That's not what I'm coming to discuss, but it's connected to this one. He said to him, he said, in your preaching, rebuke. Exhort. Now let's watch this one. So this is again Paul to Timothy. But at another time he told Timothy, he said, preach in season and out of season. And he said, in your preaching, make sure you exhort, make sure you rebuke, make sure you correct or you, you reprove. Those things talk about the power of the word. How the word of God is going to change your stature and bring it to that of Christ. It can only be done if you read it and if you will study it, and if you will listen to it. Where? Sunday after Sunday, we are going to sit in our soul class group. Woe betides any deacon in charge of any soul class who will not be here because your class are going to depend upon you. Come and come and turn my book to you. Also, to me, can you hear audio Bible? When I give the order, the next day, you will play audio Bible in the Ga class, and they must listen to the Bible in Ga. 
cable to wait time. I'm not sure I'm like a shibi no candy. Can we? Of course, we can't be a share. Yeah, oh, oh, I'm going to bed. Somebody say word and counter challenge. Uh, team, yeah, you challenge from our TV. So they throw challenge from on Facebook. I've seen them. They have seen challenges where you are dressing into a one by challenge one. Why, sir? Challenge to that. So I don't know. So I know. Yes, sir. The next one to be yes, They are doing challenge. The young girls challenge, challenge. Yes, we have a word challenge. Let me explain this scripture. Paul was telling Timothy. He said, Timothy, you've got to make sure that the people use the word of God. And this is the reason. He said, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. What you are holding as a Bible, whether it's on a tablet or whether it's, it's, a, it's, it's in print, it's God breathed. It came from God. God engineered the spirits of, of some chosen men and, and, and they wrote the scriptures down. This is the reason. He said, number one, it is profitable. So it's a profitable. I don't know what Paul said. Timothy said, I was saying, who are the enemy? I said, no, eh. Now, me, show, I did not mean I said, eh. No, but who said, a qua, a kusi, who mean you not make it? Because I don't know who mean you know, pen. No, what do I pen pen so I never be to me a foul so anyway, you know, and only and I fell so I fell about kingdom. When you have you see we are co-workers. So this business of wearing a nice shoe, like my shoe, and coming to sit down here and go back, is over. It's not about nice shoes. I'm not saying don't wear nice shoes. Wear them. But make sure that you are loaded with the loaded with the word. And you are saying, Timothy, Nantias said, Namia Samano in free the power. If you are home, 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 no man, you are a troy. Two or say, Tia Tiboti, Yamia said, Tia Niama, aye, or say, aye, profitable. When would the jaw? When the pair loss? Would you the jaw? You were profit, and I say, or they profit, trophy, a kind of cheap, say, yes, ah, Faso, Faso, or say, Bible, a man Faso. I don't know, I didn't know Faso. Is there anybody here who doesn't want to make profit in life? So the first thing is that the power of the Bible causes profit to be made in your life. I will show you what this profit is. Maybe I should consider this message when I come again. I think my time is up. Shall I come or Okay, can I be quick? He says it's profitable for doctrine. Everybody say doctrine. Number two, say reproof, say reproof. Number three, correction. Say correction. Then number four, instruction in righteousness. They say instruction in righteousness. Can I have four people here? I'm closing. Four. Let me find you. I didn't see you. Monhe, two mia, e wonya mia se mua, e no muntino, e wasa o kotina yesu kristo nasi. Ah, me say, chrese, wafa o bible la, o kain. O siyadi, na o ma o kwa inse, nya mia se mno, e me ibo wa bravo. Paul said, in the first place, you see, it is profitable for doctrine. Doctrine, it's not how much. Ujidiye sufapim. Oh, we say there was a symbian. When you go to maybe like Presby or they they will say, uh, yeah, Ujidiye is saying, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth. I love that. Very important. Very. Those things are crucial. We must go back to them. Because those things tells you that as a child of God, this is the body of teaching. Doctrine is the body of teaching on which your faith is pinned. So it's like when you study the word of God, you will see all those things. Then he says, for reproof. The word reproof means conviction. To bring somebody to conviction that you are sinning. And so stop it. And change your life. So as you are daily at the feet of Jesus. Studying your way. Because we will feel. Assume. And I will bow. 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 I
Yansasem kwan so no dware no. Na what what are they for fro? Na o dia she no. Na o man dia no di. Sanati e e wo hu hu no. Wo be hu urade wi a. Enti o say e kire o. Nya mi asane be kire o say hu e fi. Ti mo ai mi preacher na bu e fu mi. Enya mi a. So this one we just show you that this is a simple path. But the e jimo e ni say o be convict o. Be nya wa ka say o be nya ten kan ni say. Watch out. Watch it. Have you seen it? Correct me here. Emra ka u nanti e wo hado mo no. Ah, u si we jai boni yen. E wo ma u yade to be tough. But at the same time, no na miya se ne be say u kain e be kine bi oni pega. The word correction means to lift up once again, so that you get back on the final path. Final one, no see it. Instruction in righteousness. I hold na siya che se. Time a wa fight ne me ne mu we. The final part: train up a child in a way that he should go, and when he grows up, he will not depart from it. The reason why you train up a child is that one day he must take over from you. If you are a king, you must train up your son to take over from you. So at this point, I will tell you all correct correct in life. We are not feeling. We bring instruction for righteousness, training to the point where you become perfect. Where you now carry the very stature of Jesus Christ, and you are ready to be given a work to do by the Lord Jesus Christ, and you are doing it. That's all. And God is waiting for you and I to get to this stage. That is all. Clap for them. And as I end the message, I would like you to see how Mary matured. And left Martha. Rise up to your feet as I'm ending, and we'll take the communion very quickly. I'm not making story. Me the preaching the Bible. Me say me chow. I will buy bunum say. Send up Mary. I'll cut tina Jesus na seno. Ni mas sa on abrabu. Eno okudu sa pen pen swa. I say what say Jesus Christu afidi. Nyami to me di ejume bi e shenin sa. Emano eye. And it is possible. Somebody say it is possible. It is possible. Listen to me. I'm ending now. In John chapter 12. For the sake of time, but when you read John chapter 12, take me there. I'm ending now. In John chapter 12, verse 1 to about 3 or verse 1 to about 4. Maybe you have never talked about it. The Bible said Jesus went once again went to, went to the house of Martha. Then six days before the Passover came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. Quickly, let's go. Roll. Then they made him a supper. And at that time, about we did you. I hear me. I watch what was happening this time. And matter what? Charlie, oh, man, still out, still out, eh? Then it's not like. <laughs> but I'm sure this time is at the right time. <laughs> Watch it. I'm not, on, I'm not on Martha today. I'm on Mary. I want to show you that Mary got to that stature where God could use her. Because she had been standing at the feet of Jesus and allowing the word all the time to build her up. There they made him a supper. And Martha said, but Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. Verse 3. Then took Mary a pound of ointment of spike light, very costly, and anointed the feet of Jesus. Where, where did he go now? The feet of Jesus. I'm coming there. And wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Verse 4. Then said one of the disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, which should betray him. Verse 5. Why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence and given to the poor? Verse 6. Then he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the bag and bear what was he. This, is, this man had, he had time to learn from the word. He never learned from the word. Oh, who will be on Judas. Only assembly and tear. The facts are about sorry, it doesn't mean it's assembly. It doesn't mean it's a assembly. No, no, to say Judas. Then said Jesus, let her alone. Against the day of my burial, has she kept this? Look at me as I bring the message to an end. Around this time, the death of Christ was imminent. This is something spiritual. 
nobody apart from Jesus Christ knew that the time had come for him to die. Watch. He took the one who had been sitting at the feet of Christ, learning the words of Christ in order to become like Christ. And as she was changing, she got to that stage where God will now use her to announce the death of Christ to the world. To announce the death of, and to confirm that Christ was about to die. In the midst of the disciples in the, and in the presence of Martha, as they were eating, the Bible said by revelation, she went ahead and she took the alabaster box of oil. Loving time. And yeah, aboard day. And the Bible said, Oh, Johnny and Oko, and nothing or Taikot Sinano. And nothing, the Bible, nothing or Bet Sinano. If we Bible, no man or Bessie Sun. Now, what's the son of it to say, Christua? Now, me shut and say, Oh, you so. Bible said, Mary, Echo Quao, no she or pie bottle, and no she love it and ego, the Nyasi, and a sentinel. I hear one, and you see who you are, who might be our oil. I ought to say, Bemu away. Hey, and yes, of all, but because only Namia Sam, in Yam Ponimpo, or in Yamia Sam, in Yam Shidi, or in Yamia Sam, in Tin Como, as they say, or in Yamia Sam, or in Yamia Sam, or in Yamia Sam, or in Yamia Sam, and Opo, or in Yamia Sam, and Yao, or in Yamia Sam, and Yumro, or in Yamia Sam, and Nante, or Tian Yamia Sam, or Man who can Yamia Sam as a son, it's in. Oni ewo hu, oni ewo hu. Afi doni ni anya prophetu eso wa peki bibi ewo hu hu. Nanya mi say go ahead and announce the death of my son. Po no pay ani ano. Nemro mu yeye ano na Jesus Christ. Mu yedi mu ni hu hu. We we ra hu hu. Sanse mu siya di ewo mi na se. Iti kwa ina ba se mu hu adi a mi bisi ewo hu hu. Ladies and gentlemen, I end on this note. God is waiting to use you. And he will use you to do something that will shock your family members. He will use you to, you to do something that will shock your peers at school. That will shock your peers in the office. That will shock everybody. God will use you. He will use you prophetically. He will use you in an apostolic manner. He will use you in an evangelistic manner. He will use you in a teaching manner. You know what? God is waiting for you. Get back to the word. Sit at the feet of Jesus. In the morning. The same note he took the bread and he blessed it and he said eat for this is my body that was broken for you when pai boni said emra ye di ne huna ma ububu ema ye no yen kon en do nyame asem now you man the right place in our lives. Now you see your Bible now. You see your Kusuku Kana, you free and basse. Mammy Bible up fact to be phone so. But John chapter one, mammy na minti. Na audio no emboma mukum kasani ti si say ya Bible no cro kasi biemu ye the go phone so. I didn't in a YouTube pen away. I didn't in a Facebook pen a yeko. You download the Bible apps. Download the house, netie. Download the key, netie. Men can't tell me say one kusuku biyo. O kasa no oso. Wa o kusuku kwa di anye anye wa seven di. Emra ye di ni body no. Ye kon endo ni ami asem. Amen. Shall we eat? Sabi yom. Where any moja machine who will come at it? Munum and Ribia Mubekai, you won't. That one of me. In Pibon, he said, I did with Buddha Mubia. No Bible, no breakfast. Yan kind Babuni and my entity. Yan con the Bible. Yan kind yenti. A dunya mia sam, say, the kind of mia so I may be you. Yan tell us, I didn't yenti and ask them. Yen tira ni nasi. 
Yama ya huko kwae. Na na sem no. In jare. Em en shaye rolon. En shaye underwear. En shaye kemisia. En shaye atade fufro. Na ye hu ye fe e wo hu hu. Na ye nama ye hu se Kristo ne nama. Shall we drink? Nehoshi bahale ko sahare kete ko sarabada ko bosore ya saya. O ampaya ba ko pe. Ampaya bo ni se mero bo se ampaya ba ko no. Bibi e hi obi odi ba ni anya mi sort you out. But just pray the only one prayer that I link it to every deed of your life. One prayer say, "Irade, communion here, my fee, my revival, oh my brave woman, my kofawase, my soya, my kind, my da, my kind, my kind keke, my mamu kind, say be ye mi mu juma. Na say same, fawase msu na say same, na mi ye uti say Christu, na fee, fami so." Thank you for watching Encounter with the Truth with Reverend Dr. Abraham Nyaku Jr. You can follow us on all our social media platforms or better still, like and subscribe our YouTube channel, Words of Truth Family, and on Facebook, Words of Truth Covenant Family. God bless you.